Hi Capricorn, this is Moon Pie. Let's get started with your February love reading. You can go into my February love playlist. I also have other Capricorn February love reading uploaded. Uploaded a little while ago if you would like. This is more of a bonus. So we're going to take a look at the person's energy uh, for love. Just strictly their energy towards you. Okay, whether this is new or someone else um, that you already have in mind. Let's take a look and see what's going on with them. And happy Valentine's Day, Capricorn. Okay, messages for Capricorn. All right, for the your person. Oh, King of Pentacles. Some of you may be connected to a Taurus, another Capricorn, or a Virgo. This person is very focused on work, money, material things. Oh, beautiful. Lots of communication coming in February from this person. Maybe messages about travel. Perhaps on February 8th. Um, this person's buying you tickets or they're going to buy a ticket to travel with you or to you. Um, they're working right now. Okay, but they might be coming to near you, somewhere where you are, because this is always about travel. So I don't know how far you would be traveling with this person, far away or near, Plane, planes, trains, and automobiles, how I feel. This is also Cupid's arrows, so they're also thinking about buying you a gift and um, presenting it to you or delivering it to you. Lots of gifts, lots of communication, lots of positive news, two very positive cards, the sun, Leo energy. Something's coming out into the open. Capricorn, the world, there's a shift, there's a change happening here with this person. They're finished something um, and this is travel. This person maybe wants to travel to a sunny spot with you or go somewhere. Maybe you live in a sunny area or vice versa. Communication over the internet about this, maybe just texting, could be just simple texting or something like that. Excuse me, Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Could be a cruise, taking a cruise on a ship. Um, this person's coming into or has a lot of money to spend. Okay. <laughs> um, we also have, both of these cards have fixed corners. So, um, we already said Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. This is someone that you're celebrating with. They want to celebrate with you. Um, possibly date. There could be dating involved here in this situation. This is also a reunion card. So, um, they could be coming in for um, some type of get together where you'll be either meeting them for the first time or um, they are making plans to get together and uh, take you out with their sisters or their friends, introduce you to their friends. You could meet them while you're out with friends. You guys have mutual friends, perhaps. Um, or a bunch of people. Ooh, two of cups. I was just saying friends. This is my friendship card. So yeah, this is a meeting of the minds. You two are, wow, Capricorn, whoever you're connecting with, Oh, any of the signs I said, you guys, so for the singles, it's definitely somebody new coming in. Um, and, and, you know, I, I know your ex was an earth sign. This is not your ex. For some of you, it might be, but I feel for the singles, this is somebody new coming in. Okay. And you guys are going to actually form a bond form a friendship first it could even be start off friends with benefits or very casual thing okay um for others so i'm not seeing an ex coming back this is either somebody new or somebody that you're currently you're physically not together but there is a connection yeah this person's been so stressed oh boy they have been stressed about not having communication with you, you know. It's this anxiety and this stress is what is causing them to um, make their moves. 
to reach out to you, to connect with you. Okay. So now we have the hermit sitting on the sun. <laughs> this person's like, you know, they, they, they're contrasting. They contrast. I feel like it almost tells a story in February. You know, you guys get together, you connect, you meet, you know, you bond, you bond, you come together, you, you connect. And then they, they, then they have all this anxiety and stress. And then they kind of like go into quiet withdrawal period after meeting, which geez, that don't stress it though. Okay. Because it, this is like the build up. And then you come together. There's a recognition here of a soul flame connection. You come together and then the anxiety of that <laughs> with your person. And then they just kind of pull back um, because, wow, they didn't expect to. I don't really feel like your friend or this person was expecting to catch feelings for you. And they do. And that drives them like they're like, oh, they're just damn. <laughs> this momentum builds maybe for you know valentine's day you get together you connect you have a good time and boom cupid's arrow strikes it sits here it sits on top of the nine of swords that's not what they wanted they didn't want to fall in love this person was fooling around and they fall in love with you Oh boy. And then they sit here and they wonder if they're going to see you again. Is it over? They're far away. You guys are far away from each other, whoever this is. There's long distance connecting with this person. And then they start waiting for you, wondering where you are. When am I going to see you again? When are we going to connect? So they realize, you know, they get to this place where like, oh, damn. I think I caught feelings. I think I'm in love with Capricorn. Let me withdraw and deal with my anxieties. And then they come back out and they're like, why isn't Capricorn communicating? What's going on? Why are we not together? Where is Capricorn? Well, they were the one who withdrew. So, of course, you're not chasing. Capricorn doesn't do that. And then they start reaching out again. Here they go, giving you little bits and pieces here and there, reaching out, wanting to connect with you. <laughs> but Capricorn, you're being just a little player, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. Capricorn, it looks to me like you aren't trying to fall in love and you sure as heck aren't falling in love <laughs> for whatever reason. The um, Capricorn, are you being a little bit of a player here, I think? <laughs> And I'm not judging, please don't think I'm judging, but um, this person, whoever it is, whoever's connecting with you, um, they think that they're just going to be the one to get away with whatever. And um, they actually wind up sticking their foot in their mouth and falling in love with you. And I don't feel like you're intentionally trying to play this person. And this reading is for females. If you're cross watching, don't. Because I'll maybe make some videos for the men. But this is for the females. I want you to stop cross-watching, please. Just focus on you. Okay. And this person... <laughs> things... I can see the progression here at the top row with them. But then things begin to shift and change. And they catch feelings. And you're just leaving them out in the cold. They give a little. But then you just leave them out in the cold. And they, they feel kind of like lost because the reunion was great. The connection, the reunion or the get together was so great. Then they go and they go to the Knight of Pentacles. And then they make another offer for a date. They want to see you again, Capricorn. But you're just keeping your little secrets. You're not revealing anything. Maybe you don't maybe you're just not head over heels for this person or maybe you're just pacing them a little bit you're not rushing and they're slowly coming in because they're not sure 
They don't want to scare you away. So instead of offering their heart and their love, they try to give you something that is proof of how they feel. But they're, you know, they're hesitant about it, Capricorn. But you got, you've got them. Like they're, they're just like, oh God, Capricorn is so amazing. This person is so amazing. I love Capricorn. I can't be without Capricorn. I went in just to have a good time and damn, I caught feelings. I fooled around and I fell in love. And now I don't want to lose this person. So I'm treading carefully. And Capricorn just keeps like, and, yeah, and, I've seen it before. Been here, done that. What, what do you got? <laughs> yeah, see? They keep, they're offering their love to you. And you're just like, mm -mm. again, I've seen it all before. You're really putting them through the, the tests, Capricorn. In February whether this is someone new or someone that you just know or whomever your person is could be an ex because there is a reunion card here <laughs> and they don't know what to do they're trying to like study themselves like oh geez this isn't what I thought it was gonna be I really I didn't think this was gonna happen I figured we'd just get together and we'd have some fun and you know we I'd flirt and it would be no big deal and then boom Two of Cups happens. Get together, boom, and then this is not what I expected. I gotta steady myself. My emotions. This person, look at them. They're on like an emotional roller coaster. You're steady. But they're just kind of like <gasps> ooh, rocking back and forth. And then they start spying on you. They're watching you. <sighs> they wanna know what's going on. Then they get here. Well, whatever you're doing, Capricorn, congratulations, because you just got, you just got what you wanted by not going after it. You just not making a big deal about it. And this person, they caught feelings. It's not your fault, but they want to marry you. And they want to check and see if you're with someone because I don't know, they must've been, okay, we have a king of wands here. So it's either earth or it's a fire sign. Or you were being in your earthly masculine energy just very focused on work and stuff, but it's both, you know, you might have two people or you just have one. All right. But then they take on this passionate energy. Now this leadership role to go after you because the king of wands goes with the four of wands, the 11, 11, wish come true. You're a wish come true for them. So happy Valentine's day, Capricorn. I hope that it all goes, well, it looks like it's going to go beautifully for you, whatever you're doing. You're making somebody crazy, that's for sure. So enjoy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.